In the arrivals hall of Tel Aviv's Ben Gurion Airport, one group of passengers is particularly eagerly awaited. 48 Indian migrant workers, the first flown into Israel under a new scheme set up since the start of the war. Ever since October the 7th, most Palestinian workers have been barred. First time here? Yes. First time? First time. Bishek is from Gujarat province and previously worked in Dubai, but jumped at this opportunity, which should pay three times more. In Israel, the people seem nicer, the salaries too. The war in Israel has become less present. This country is powerful and we aren't scared. Fresh off the plane, the Indians are set up with bank accounts and Israeli SIM cards before being taken away by recruiters. They're highly in demand. The government hopes to bring in 20,000 workers from India by the end of March. But bureaucratic sluggishness means the process isn't quick enough for Israeli constructors. Building sites across this fast-growing country lie frozen and a huge economic sector is in crisis. <laughs> Anger is boiling over at this constructors' conference in Tel Aviv. You can see us. We don't have the oxygen to survive. You're talking about bringing in workers from Sri Lanka and elsewhere. I will already have shut up shop by then. It doesn't matter where they will come from. They can come as aliens from the moon, as Palestinians from the Palestinian Authority, or the foreign employees from India, Sri Lanka, Uzbekistan, Vietnam. The, what we are need at the moment are manpower people that will come and will rise again the rhythm that we are building Israel. More than 100,000 Palestinian workers used to cross into Israel daily from the occupied West Bank. Now the checkpoints are closed, leaving many families struggling to make ends meet, surviving on credit. The workers are unemployed and haven't had any money coming in for five months. So they're racking up debts, a thousand or two thousand shekels. Look at this one here, for example. He's up to three thousand shekels now. The Indians are taking the place of us Arabs. It's impacting us. Before our workers went to Israel and money was coming in. Now it's bad. We've got nothing. The streets are empty. As the months pass since October the 7th, its economic impact is only just beginning to bite.